What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a video with the i8. You guys haven't seen a video on this thing in a little minute now. And honestly, I've been wanting to show you guys a little POV video. A lot of you guys have been asking me to show you guys a POV video on the i8. So uh, I decided, you know, I'm actually, you guys actually been asking on the F80, but I said maybe on the i8 and the F80, just because ever since I got an exhaust on this car, guys, I really feel like it completely changed the car. I want you guys to let me know down below. Are you guys starting to like the i8 more and more while gas prices go up or do you guys still not like the i8 i feel like as the whole world is going towards electric cars a lot of people are either going to be like no i still want some gasoline sound i still want an exhaust sound uh, but obviously i don't want to pay the crazy uh, you know gas prices and stuff so i feel like car enthusiasts they're not going to go from straight gas to straight electric i feel like this is kind of like the perfect car in between where most people are going to be going if uh, all cars end up being either hybrids or electric just because the i8 is an amazing looking car but at the same time it does perform really well now to most when you guys just look at the paper on this car it has 362 horsepower i believe completely stock as for this one it does have an exhaust and it's going to have an adventure tune on it pretty soon i'm actually installing down pipes in adventure tune pretty soon but as for now it does have a full exhaust from valvetronic exhaust um, which means like pretty much everything else is uh you know replaced other than the, the catalytic converter so the catalytic converter is still in the car no flaps have been adjusted but we do have the rest of it a full vaptronic exhaust i have a picture up there what kind of exhaust i'm talking about but yeah guys let's go ahead and jump into the interior of the car and show you guys how this thing performs Now I'm probably gonna be showing you guys a full mod list, uh, pretty much what things I've done to this car. But just getting into the interior, one of the main things you guys can see here uh, is the steering wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my seatbelt here. Uh, but yeah, so this is a carbon fiber steering wheel from Oz. I absolutely love this steering wheel. It literally absolutely changed the interior. When I got this car, one of the biggest things I hated about the interior was this steering wheel. It has like this weird line that goes all the way across and uh, it just honestly, it needed something like, like an LED steering wheel. Like this thing's absolutely gorgeous. When you're in eco, it doesn't actually pop up anything over here, but as soon as you put it in sport, it goes ahead and uh, turns on as you guys can see. This is plugged into the OBD, so it's really accurate and uh, it's seamless you don't have to click anything it's already on um, and this steering wheel can do a bunch of things but obviously I'm not gonna be talking too much about this steering wheel mainly because it does not come with an i8 when you get it other things when you get an i8 it doesn't come with is some merch right here I have the i8 keychain right here I'm just gonna be I have to I have to mention it this is absolutely amazing if you guys want to get this link down below and I also have the i8 air freshener uh, if you guys want to get that as well but anyway getting back into the video this car is honestly changed completely ever since it put on the exhaust it literally feels like an entirely different car Car. Now, a lot of people judge this car. I really don't know why. A lot of people judge it. I think because of the paper. I mean, it says 362 horsepower. It looks really weak. I know, I know. But what this thing really excels on is it's pretty much zero to 60. This thing's actually pretty quick just because of the hybrid battery, the torque and everything is there from the start. If you guys don't know, this is a three cylinder, which yeah, that's kind of laughable, but it is turboed and it does have a hybrid battery uh, to give it support. And let me just tell you guys, if I go ahead and downshift right, here. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and hear it. Second off, it is not slow. As you guys can see, we're already, we already went up to 80 miles an hour that quickly. Obviously, I don't want to go any faster right now. We're going to go ahead and merge onto the highway. But like I said, especially from zero to 60, this thing can go. Now, most of these sounds that you guys are hearing right now is actually from the exhaust system. Uh, I mean, not the, the real exhaust system. It's kind of the fake exhaust system. So I'm going to go ahead and lower down the windows just so you guys can actually hear the real exhaust system. This car does have uh, speakers that just amplify the sound. But the exhaust on the car, well, yeah, that kind of speaks for itself. Now, while we're trying to get on the highway, I just want to go ahead and mention how good this car handles. It honestly drives better than any other car I've ever driven. Now, mind you guys, I've never actually driven a supercar before. Um, I mean, I've driven a Performante once and it was absolutely amazing. It was really quick, but I was also very nervous when I was driving it. I was very scared that I could damage the car and any, you know, it, it wasn't my car. So I was really stressed that if anything happens, you know, I'm going to be damaging somebody's Lamborghini. So especially on top of that, it was a Performante. So I was really stressed out and also the car, 
and it is really quick it kind of scared me not gonna lie while this car is actually quick it's not crazy fast like it's fun it's enjoyable um, it has the fake sound that honestly I don't mind I really do enjoy it now with this real exhaust note it makes it so much more enjoyable but yeah this car is easy to handle great fuel economy I fill this thing up once a month for $30 like 30 to 60 dollars depending on where you guys fill it up at but it only holds 10 gallons and that lasts me literally forever especially if you actually charge it at your house guys this thing at this thing can literally run you a month on half a tank it's insane I used to daily this thing every single day I got it with 38,000 miles it's 45,000 miles now I think I've owned it for about six months now so you guys can see I, I mean I drove the car definitely all right let's go ahead and merge onto the highway guys to 60 guys that's insane I'll show you guys how it performs when cornering seeing right now basically I have the gas tank and the hybrid battery right next to it and as I'm driving it on the engine guys it is charging my battery so if I just want to go full hybrid uh, yeah it'll pretty much just run off of that I can keep charging that just by putting the car in sport but I'm gonna go ahead again put it in sport show you guys the turning uh, on this road right here this is probably one of my funnest things to do with this car I honestly love the carbon tub That's so much fun.
just like that guys we have made it towards the end of the video I know I lost the beard I know my hair is looking all crazy but we are at the end of the video and I just want to mention a couple things like the giveaway winner and uh, the merch but before we actually get into both of those let me know down below guys is an I ate something that you guys will like I really 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 encourage some of you guys to actually drive the car it's insane once you drive it it's a completely different car than what the paper really says and it truly transforms the car when you upgrade your steering wheel and change the exhaust I absolutely love the car so much more but I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna say I'm biased because I own the car but I mean I haven't sold it yet and a lot of you guys are telling me to sell it I just can't sell it because I honestly think it's a great value for the money so let me know down below guys what you guys think about the car have you guys driven it have you guys experienced it what do you guys think about it and would you guys consider it if the whole world just goes only electric or hybrid would you guys consider the IA let me know down below without further ado guys I'm gonna go ahead and announce the giveaway winner basically I don't know if you guys know but in the last video I basically said comment on my recent post which at the time this is my recent post uh, so we have 116 comments on here all right guys I finally got it working at first it was only finding one comment and then two comments and now I got all you guys comments right over here so there it is 131 different potential there's not even any duplicates it's 131 people right here that's entering this giveaway go ahead and click that start button okay do you guys see your names do you guys see your names and the winner is Corey Lee 96 bro congrats hashtag saving BMW thank you for the support brother make sure to hit me up on Instagram uh, and I will go ahead and get that thing mailed out to you for those of you guys who don't know I try to do as much giveaways as possible normally when I get packages or extra things I give them away to you guys or sometimes I even get some things like car adapters and other good stuff to give away to you guys I've done carbon spoilers I've literally given away an M3 before so if you guys want to enter these giveaways just make sure to follow me on my Instagram down below I literally just announced them randomly just because I'm in a, I'm in a positive of mood, if you guys know what I mean. And absolutely, before we end this video, if you guys want to cop some merch, we have that i8 keychain and the i8 air fresheners. If you guys have an i8 or love the i8, make sure to cop those things. They are limited. The F80 merch completely sold out. So for those of you guys who didn't cop that, that is gone and never coming back. But the i8 merch is still here, guys. Make sure to cop it down below. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. I'm going to try to make more videos with the i8 thing. I'm going to try to make some more videos with the F80 than possibly get another build on the channel. But I mean, we still need to build the F80 to its maximum potential. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.